Hi, Dyke Drummond here with one of the absolutely key concepts of understanding how your brain works and how it gets in the way of your success if you don't know how to use it properly. So let's talk a little bit about setting goals, reaching goals, and the little voice that gets in your way. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how a helium balloon could be the key to outrageous business success. So, have you ever heard of this concept? that we live our lives in a box, and that box is our comfort zone. Everything that we have and everything we know and everything we understand is inside the box, and in order to get new results and take new actions, we have to step where? Outside the box. See, the challenge is outside the box is the unknown. We're very comfortable with what's in our comfort zone. That's why it's called the comfort zone. But when you step outside the box, here's what your brain does. Now, if you've seen my brain training series, you know that we talk about the reptile brain that's down in the center of the way your brain is structured and how the reptile brain only has one thing that it's interested in is that's your safety. So whenever you contemplate doing something outside the comfort zone, your brain goes into reactive survival mode. And the way you know is that you hear the little voice. Yeah, the little voice that just said, what little voice in the back of your head? Exactly. That little voice says things to you that will sap your energy, especially if you believe it or you think that little voice is actually you. It's not actually you. It's your brain trying to protect you, trying to keep you safe and warm and having lots of babies, not going outside your comfort zone and doing different things. So it goes something like this. You're in your comfort zone, you say you want some more sales results and you're gonna do some cold calls and gonna reach out to people in your community about your business, your service, the products that you offer. And in order to do that, you have to step outside your comfort zone. And your little voice says, what are you doing? You don't know, you don't know anything about this. What if people hang up on you? Oh my God, I can't believe you're doing this. So you stick back in your comfort zone and maybe you don't do anything. Well, see, the challenge is that little voice isn't going to go away. It's a natural piece of the way your brain is wired. So that's just a signal that you're outside your comfort zone. What do you think you're doing? Here's the key, though. Yeah, the key is to not think that little voice is actually you. The key is to actually get some separation from it. And, you know, thank it for being there because you know it's got your best interest at heart. But don't let it sound and feel like the hand of God, like something like this. Who do you think you are? These people will reject you out of hand. You don't know what you're doing. You're an imposter. This'll never work. What makes you think you're so special? And I know, I know, sometimes the voice does sound like that. However, now that I've talked to you about the little voice, you can recognize it when it comes up. And let's give you two really important strategies for dealing with it. Remember too, the little voice is different than your intuition. The little voice is just a little voice. It's the way your brain works. Your intuition comes in through your body. If you've got a gut feeling that something isn't right, process that, journal about it, ask some questions to good friends of yours and make sure you're on the right track. But if you know you're on the right track, you know this is the best thing for your business, then that little voice comes up, here's a couple of great little tools. And remember, the little voice always has your best interest at heart. It just doesn't have any other way to communicate with you right now. So, little voice comes up. You don't know what you're doing. You notice it, here's a great thing to do. Say, thank you for sharing. Or, what a wonderful insight, thank you very much. With a, an open heart, recognize the voice for what it is, your protector in your brainstem, and simply thank it for its contribution. I've used that tool for a very long time, and it works like magic because it helps you remember what the little voice is there for, and is a nice way to ask, nice way to ask it to just you know, take a chill, you've got it covered, and everything's going to be okay. Now, if that little voice is a little more strident, it's trying to get your attention, if it's starting to feel like the big powerful voice, I've got another great technique. It's called silly voice. Silly voice. It goes something like this. Imagine that the words that the little voice is saying are being said by a cartoon character. Homer Simpson, Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, or how about this one? Let me just give you a, a, a quick role play here so you can see what it might sound like. And here's where the helium balloon comes in, by the way. I don't know if this cold calling is going to work. I mean, really? Do you really know what you're doing? I think you're an imposter. 
Are you sure you want to do this? I'm not so sure you understand what's going on here. You're not really the expert you think you are. What if they all say no? Just who do you think you are anyhow? I don't know why you ever went into business in the first place. So now when the little voice comes up and you recognize it, go ahead and imagine that it has a funny voice, a silly voice. Elmer Fudd, uh, Homer Simpson, Daffy Duck, or, and I hope this image really sticks in your mind this week, perhaps my helium voice. A helium voice is just as good as any other. The key is to recognize it for what it is. It's your brain stem trying to protect you from something it thinks might be dangerous. And when you hear the little voice and you turn it into a silly voice, I hope that what you can say is, thank you for sharing and you continue to do what's important for you and your business. Because here's one thing to really remember. If you want different results in your life and in your business, you absolutely have to step out of your comfort zone which means the little voice is actually a sign you're in the right place, taking the right step. So today and this week in your business, when you hear that little voice, give it a silly voice, thank it for sharing, and keep moving forward. Dyke Drummond here, and here's to your success. Have a great week.